The effects of the mortgage crisis continues to be felt in the state economy and in the pocketbooks of many Californians who have either lost their home or have seen their equity drastically reduced. Assemblymember Norma Torres is working to solve at least one of the problems born out of this crisis. My objective with Assembly Bill 1745 is to address uh, a problem that has been identified by my local realtors who are working very, very hard to assist a homeowner in selling their, um, their property. Assemblymember Torres's proposal specifically prohibits a bank from moving forward with a foreclosure sale after approving a short sale in writing. The legislation also requires the servicer to give the borrower three days written notice before withdrawing from a short sale agreement with an explanation as to why the approval is being withdrawn. A short sale allows a homeowner to sell the home for less than what is owed on the mortgage and requires the approval of the lender. The trouble comes when one department approves the short sale while another department of the same bank is foreclosing on the property. Short sales are generally good for all those involved. It's a win-win to both the bank who um, will have a new buyer, will have someone who can make a new mortgage payment, and to the homeowner who can no longer afford to stay in their home, it's an easier way, um, like you said, on their credit so that they can recuperate within three years and maybe move on and buy a, another property. Communities and local governments also benefit. There's a huge benefit to a community when um, short sales are expedited and when everybody communicates with each other, which is the key. Um, this, this doesn't uh, force anyone to do anything that they don't want to do. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.